second grade, you are ready to paint, and you've painted with me before. I have my finished project, and it's on the uh, messy mat. Roy G. Biv, remember we share with the shoulder buddy. We outline with our paintbrush first. Uh, choose what colors you want. Okay, I'm only dipping the tip because that's what Miss Paula likes. Uh, when you shoot, when you paint, remember we outline the shape. We hold our hand up like this where we're not running into the paint. We're pulling the brush towards us, taking our time. You can also leave some white spaces, artist. This is what Mrs. Milligan likes to do. I just think it makes it easier. I paint, like I said, outline like when you color. Outline. And then after you've outlined, then you go back in. Now I'm going to want you to pretend that I have this whole, his whole hair outlined. And then I would just come in and take that extra paint, fill it in, okay? A couple things that I want to remind you of. If you use the green, then make sure you paint everything green. Like I'm gonna have his, that you wanna paint green. So I'm gonna have his eyes. So after I finish the hair, I would come in, outline my space very carefully, then paint it all what I want green. Maybe I want his shirt green. I would paint that green at the same time. So I'll keep you posted on the steps of finishing my portrait. You decide what colors you want. Remember when we clean our brush, we clean it, swish it in the number eight. Second grade, here's my finished project. I added detail of lines in the background using paint. Uh, you can leave some white spaces like I said. Leave it on the, on the messy mat, put it on the rack, bottoms up, buttercup.